Welcome back to the channel, everybody. I am back at the shop. The Raptor racing is over. It is done for now. I have a big job. So you saw at the end of the video, she runs. She not only runs, she goes forward and reverse about, you know, a foot that way and a foot that way. So what I have to do tonight, it is pretty late, but I'm an impatient person, as you know. Um, I got to get him out of the way to get this thing out of the door so I can drive it. So tonight I'll probably drive it around the uh, parking lot a little bit because it's got a fresh tune on it. Uh, it's getting tuned Thursday. I do have a few things I got to button up. You can see the intake sitting here. I've got kind of a, a temporary uh, intake in there. Just little stuff like that. Nothing major. But this shop is such a mess that it is going to take me at least an hour or two just to make room to where I can move this thing over. Well, let me show you. So I have literally kept this thing crammed in the corner while I've worked on it for embarrassingly three years. Um, it sat here when I burned up the transmission, that transmission, that transfer case, burned all that up. It was because of the torque converter and I put it here three years ago. So three years ago, it sat August, 2018. Then I brought this thing in. Y'all remember that Kenwood rod shop, worst hot rod shop on the planet, screwed up everything, literally everything. And I'm still finding stuff today that they screwed up to this day that they screwed up. But we'll get into that. That's going to be the next build video. After I get the Humvee completely up running and done, this is what I'll start on. But as you can see, and I know those of you that keep a clean shop are probably disgusted by this, but I've got to get all this out of the way and this out of the way so I can get out that door and drive the Humvee. So the plan of attack is I've got these little skates that I can put under the tires and I'm just going to kind of spin the back end around to where it's pointing this way. And then I can just put it in reverse and literally back it out of the shop. But in order to do that, I have to move the crates, the transmission came in, the transfer case box, that table, everything on it and under it, the compressor, that, the seats for the blazer, that table, all these boxes. You get the picture. So that's what I'm going to start working on. Wish me luck. All right, here we go. So as you can see, I've got a pass. I'm gonna move this pile of boxes. I should be able to fit it through there. If anything, I'll have to move the two seats for the blazer, which are right there. But the plan is to swing this this way using those red kind of skid thingies down there. Move the blazer out and then literally try to drive the Hummer out under its own power. So that is the goal. Let me throw away these boxes, get the Hummer jacked up onto those, push it, and then we'll see how it goes. Turned the uh, started it, turned it up. I have it where I think I can pull around that, but I mean, this is the first time in three years it's moved from away from this wall, so that's good. So let's go ahead and I'm just going to start it up, pull the skates out from under it, start it up, and just see if I can back it to kind of close to the blazer, and then I can push the blazer out. All right, first of 
first time it's going to crank for y'all in over three years. First time it's going to move more than 12 inches for both of us. So this is pretty awesome. Here we go. There we go. It is one step closer. Now I got to get that thing out of the way. And as you know, because of Kenwood Rod Shop in Griffin, Georgia, or Peachtree City, somewhere down there, worst hot rod shop on the planet. Um, it doesn't run, needs a lot of wiring done, which is next. But uh, let me see if I can get this thing out of the way so I can actually get the Hummer out in the parking lot to drive it. And if you notice, it's way louder. That's because it's straight piped. Um, the exhaust didn't work with the Atlas, which I'll go over a full run through. The exhaust is right in there. But I'll go through a full run through of everything I've done to it to get it to run where it's at now. Um, it's exactly what I wanted. So it ended perfectly. Uh, we just got to get it tuned in a couple of days. All right, so here's the current status of the project. I can't move this thing. It just weighs too much. It's in neutral. Uh, it had, I've moved it that far. So see, that's where the paint was on the tires. There's just, uh, it's too heavy. So I'm calling in best friend Brad. He's gonna be here in about 30, 40 minutes to help me move that out. Once that is out, I will be able to get this out. And then I'll put this where the Hummer was and I'll just keep the Hummer right there until uh it gets tuned and it's more drivable then i'll take it to my house but for right now we're waiting on brad just in a holding position so i'll work on the hummer a little bit get some wiring touched up uh and that's it for now all right best from brad came we got the blazer out in the dark about to pull the hummer out into the world all right here we go Well guys, I wish I could tell you that we just took the Humvee out and it drove and it was wonderful and everything was great. Um, that's not the case. That's not the case. I'm a little, I'm a little upset. Not bad. So the Humvee uh, has a big converter in it. Really big converter. 2600. I mean, not huge. 2600 stall billet converter. And initially, Atlas had sent me, let me show you, Atlas had sent me this shifter which made me think that was the pattern of the transfer case I bought, when in reality, I was up here thinking I was in too high, but when I started to drive the Humvee, it said I was going 30 something miles an hour and I was going probably like five. So this is for low, this is too high. So once I figured out the transfer case, um, I was able to drive it, got it up to 60 miles an hour, 
but there is just outrageous slip in first gear and the dominator is controlling the transmission. So there's outrageous slip in first gear, which I uh, must be the converter. I don't know. I, I have a guy coming Thursday to help tune it. I'm going to do a lot of research tonight and tomorrow, but it just, it does not drive well. It definitely would not drive well, you know, on rocks, off road, none of that. Um, so do a little research, set back a little bit today. We'll get going. Should be good. Hopefully the tuner can help me. Hopefully I can go into the software, maybe change a few things to get it driving better. But as of right now, it is not, um, it's not doing well. I mean, it, it won't even move until 1800, 2000 RPMs. And I mean, we're not actually moving until probably more like 2500, 3000 RPMs. And this thing's straight pipe right now. So it is just obnoxious to drive it like that. Um, so yeah, that's the update. I'm going to cut it here and I'll keep you updated on how it goes.